Hello there and welcome to your afternoon forecast this Wednesday. Well, we've seen a lot of fog in the forecast through this morning, only slowly lifting one or two prone spots will continue to see it. But the wind is now picking up a little bit of strength, particularly towards the west there. And with that, the cloud will thicken and we'll see some outbreaks of rain. A chilly day though, further north and east, but we will see some dry skies, even some brighter weather, northeast Scotland eastern parts of England. You can see where the rain is just moving in across the west country, Wales, the Isle of Man, clipping Cumbria as well as Lancashire and covering much of Northern Ireland and the western side of Scotland through around mid-afternoon. Clouds spilling ahead of it, the wind picking up some strength. So all in all, a bit of a chilly day on the cars, particularly away from this zone here where the air is turning a little bit milder, but you will see a stronger wind here and the rain will intensify through Wednesday evening so some tricky driving conditions on the road through Wednesday evening. So we watch through Wednesday as the rain pushes right across the country. The Met Office has issued a warning for that heavy rain across southern parts of Wales and the West Country. Another pulse of rain arrives later in the night. Elsewhere, it clears from Scotland, and you can see it's just lingering on across East Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, the Midlands, East Anglia, the South East. So a wet end to the night here, not as cold as it has been, and certainly won't see that fog that we have seen has plagued these parts through the last few nights. Elsewhere, it's a Breezy start to Thursday across Northern Ireland. Gales for Irish sea coast, the North Channel, western parts of Scotland. And you can see this rain here perhaps just clipping the Western Isles uh, through the first part of Thursday, but it will clear off the sea. So all in all, this is where the rain is. This is where the drier skies are going to be. And through the day, this rain here will push towards the North Sea, so it will dry up for a time. But as you can see, more showers gather across Northern Ireland, moving up across Argyll and Butte, Dumfries and Galloway, seeing some through the afternoon. And then another more intensive and broader spell of rain arrives across Wales, central Southern England, the West Midlands, as well as the West Country. And again, we are likely some, some heavy bursts of rain here. And the Met Office has issued a warning for that rain, particularly across more southern parts of England and Wales. Temperatures, 12 degrees Celsius in the south. Further north, 8 or 9. Not too bad, considering how cold it has been. So here are your warning zones through a Thursday evening. So a, a swathe anywhere from central and southern parts of Wales, covering the Midlands down towards the southeast, central southern England. And that's because the rain is going to be quite relentless here, coming and going through Thursday into Friday, as well as Saturday. Elsewhere, we're expecting some high rainfall totals, particularly across the highlands of Scotland towards the east, a rainfall warning in force here. So through Thursday evening, we watch as this next batch of rain pushes up towards border regions and then covers the eastern side of Scotland, moving up towards the northwest highlands. Elsewhere, it does cover much of Northern Ireland through evening time, clearing from the south for a time. There's more rain waiting in the wings through Thursday night into Friday. But it will be a bit of a wet evening across Northern England as well as northern parts of Wales. Low pressure firmly in charge through Friday as well. The strongest winds always in the south. You can see where the warning zone is through Saturday as well. Another batch of rain moves across. The winds fall a little bit lighter for a time, particularly across Scotland and Northern Ireland. In fact, Sunday's looking like a better day around across the north as more rain skirts more southern areas through Sunday. And then things try and settle down as we head through Christmas Day and into Boxing Day next week. Bye-bye.